Welcome, fiends, to the Bearded Weirdo Show, and today I'd like to be discussing uh, one of my favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre films, and that being Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 3. Um, recently picked up a mask uh, from Trick or Treat Studios uh, based on the Leatherface character from the movie, and I thought I would share it with you guys and kind of give some uh, high points and low points of the mask and kind of talk a little bit about the film. Uh, first off, the film was actually released in 1990. Um, starred R.A. and Ken Forey from the Dawn of the Dead fame, uh, and Vigo Mortensen from the uh, Lord of the Rings series, and was uh, actually not really well received. I don't know, like I said, as far as I think true hardcore fans of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre probably appreciated the movie. Um, I think uh, they did a lot with the film, and I think it was a lot of, um, as far as the way, the angles they worked it, it seemed like they split some of the characters up, and they kind of kept stay true to the uh, family scene from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, being that the Saw is family, and they have a tight knit, uh, obviously psychotic family. Um, had a great soundtrack to it. Uh, there was actually uh, Death Angels in there and Sacred Reich, uh, very uh, metal sounding um, soundtrack. Loved it actually, and it was one of the one of the first soundtracks that I picked up. Uh, after I'd heard, you know, after I saw the movie and everything, it was one of the first actual movie soundtracks I picked up, um, as far as from horror, uh, next to Return of the Living Dead. And like I said, I love the film. Uh, a lot of people probably, it's, I think it's one of those movies that you either you like it or you hate it. Um, it's got a um, definite more backstory in terms of, they kind of, like I said, they split the characters up a little bit more. Uh, you don't see Grandpa in the film like you did in the previous ones. And they introduced a child, um, and it's kind of hinted around that it might be Leatherface's child. Um, the mother does make some sort of reference about him making beautiful babies. So, um, you know, it's not exactly really explained a whole lot. And then they split the uh, hitchhiker up into seemingly two different characters, and there's more of a, um, I guess, uh, lowbrow, um, mentally challenged uh, character that is named Alfredo in the movie, and then you have the uh, Vigo's character, which is the psycho slash hitchhiker. Um, he doesn't come off as psychotic as the original hitchhiker, in my opinion. I think he's more suave, um, a lot more approachable, say, if you were in the scenario and you didn't know this guy, and, you know, uh, you would just kind of, you know, kind of help him out, talk to him kind of thing. Uh, so Alfredo is, uh, he's one of my favorite characters in all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. Um, he's batshit crazy. Uh, he mumbles. He comes up with his own songs and just, you know, has his own character that's way the hell out there. Loved him. Like I said, I, I think he's probably one of my favorite characters from the whole series. And, um, you know, like I said, I just think it really didn't get as much appreciation. I think a lot of, uh, a lot of fans kind of saw it later on. And after I watched it a couple times, um, it, it seems like it got better to me. Uh, I didn't hate it the first time I saw it, though, either, so maybe that's me, but, so anyway, without further ado, I did pick up a Leatherface um, mask from Part 3 here, and if you guys can see that there, um, <clears throat> there is, uh, you know, like I said, there's some, there's some breathing apparatus there, there's the nose and the mouth, and as you can see from the pictures here, um, that the mask doesn't quite look like the mask, uh, I so said there is a tattoo there. I don't recall that being on the actual Leatherface character from the movie. Perhaps it was. And if it is, it's a really good attention to detail on that one. Um, and like I said, there's a couple of spots there, um, as you can see from the original mask uh, that was advertised. I'm not exactly sure what these white patches here are because those obviously are not on the actual mask itself. Uh, the stitching actually looks pretty detailed. It's got that glossy, bloody look to it, which is really a nice touch as well. And as far as Leatherface in the movie has um, a serious dental problem here. Uh, so actually, you know, from this part, you would actually have to get the actual teeth, um, you know, and put them into your actual uh, mouth to get the uh, same added desired effect from the movie. Uh, one of the nice touches here that they actually have uh, leather straps. This is, I mean, this is actual leather here on that, which I thought was a really fantastic touch. And they did this with the original leather face mask as well. And uh, it really gives it an authentic look and it looks leathery. It looks like somebody has skinned somebody and stitched them up, which is fantastic. Um, however, the, the ones that are on the sides here 
are not leather. Uh, they are actually made into the mask. They are part of the uh, latex. So uh, again, I'm not exactly sure why they decided to do the leather here and not here. Um, I don't know if that's maybe a production thing. Maybe they just thought it'd be cheaper to do it that way. I'm not exactly sure. But um, like I said, the mask that you guys can see on the picture there that I ordered from does look a little bit different. Um, not drastically, but it does appear to have some features that this one doesn't have. And uh, I don't know of too many people that actually have the mask. And I'm sure there's probably others of you that have the mask out there. And I'd like to see pictures of them to maybe kind of do some compare and contrast with them to see if maybe the mask is different. Um, or maybe I just got a bad mold. Maybe I just got a shitty one that was, uh, as I call it, Friday night mask. I just kind of threw it together and was like, you know, it's done. Um, I've actually had some uh, Michael Myers masks like that. I've had a few that fit perfectly, they look great. And then I've gotten some that were just straight up terrible. They don't fit. They are warped. Uh, I don't again. I don't know if that's a manufacturer thing or maybe they was maybe you know I bought them from third parties, so it's possible they weren't taking very good care of them to begin with. So maybe that's what happened. Uh, like I said, it can be anyone's guess. So, but I hope you guys, like I said, I hope you guys like the mask, and I hope that uh, you know. Maybe if you guys were on the fence about buying this mask, I would recommend it if it's uh, if you can find it, you know, cheaper. I would probably recommend getting it for unless you're just a leather face fan like myself, then I highly recommend going and picking it up and adding it to the collection there. So, but uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys tuning in, checking out my review here, and I'll have some more masks soon, and maybe go through some of the movies that they were in. So you guys stay tuned and uh, like I said, hit that like and subscribe button.